What are you gonna discard, Ken? Shut your mouth. Are you are you mana screwed? <laughs> you shut up. I don't want anybody. Gosh. Don't even look at me. So so Ken, would you say if I only had one more mana? <laughs> no! It's on your shirt. I refuse. What's up? It's Shuffle Up and Play, and tonight we're doing Commander, but not just any Commander, Jank Commander. If I had one more mana, will I do? The cast of One More Mana is here today, but we've got special janky rules. The rules for our deck building are very, very clear. No card in any of our decks can be over $1. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if, if that's the rule, all of us are cheating in because I thought the rule was a combined of $100. No, no, and no more, what was the rule? No more than $100. I thought we had used cards from Legends. Okay, well, no, seriously, like what did you, what, what would you guys build with your decks? What was your, what was your premise? Mine, mine is like $95. What am I supposed to find with a dollar? We, <laughs> we might as well just play Popper then. What, what's the point? We were at We could play Popper, but we're playing Command. Okay, so my deck, no card is over a dollar. Sucks to be you. <laughs> my deck is like $50 total. You got so like you have cards in your deck that like cost more than a dollar, but your total deck doesn't cost more than a hundred. Yeah, my whole deck don't cost more than a hundred. My deck box costs more than your deck. But you know what? That's cool. You go sit out, the three of us gonna play, you can sit there and look pretty. All right. I'm still going to win because my commander and our rules for commander, I hope we all followed this, is no commander in the top 10 of its color combination, correct? Was good. that what we said? Uh, yes. I went, yeah. Oh, I said, what I said, did, what did you think we said? I thought we just said go go for anything. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do when there's only 10 Wubar commanders. Welcome <laughs> to the first and the last great jank off with one more mana. <laughs> My commander is Tetsuya Umazawa. Tetsuya is a legend from Legends for Grixis, where I can spend Grixis with an extra black, so four total and tap it, to destroy target tapped creature or target blocking creature. Tetsuo may not be a target of an enchantment spell. No enchanting my commander. Where did that come from? That came from Legends. It's just a legend. I, I think it's been retconned to be a legendary human. This is okay. the dude who killed Nicol Bolas. Yeah, well. This is the dude who killed Nicol Bolas, and he's going to kill all of you and your overpriced jank decks. All I know that Tom Cruise came from Legend, and that's as far as I go. <laughs> Sad, what are you playing? <laughs> uh, I'm playing uh, Yannette Cheaty Face. Um, I don't know if it's in the top Esper colors or not. I don't I don't know. But it does fun, you know, attack trigger things as far as uh, it has flying, vigilance, menace. When she attacks, look at the top card. If it's an odd, not even, if it's odd, I can just play it for free. So on its face, it sounds powerful, but there's not very many powerful cards in this deck. Uh, this is actually a riddle deck. So it's so odd that you can't even. So odd I can't even. Yeah, and uh, I think we're gonna have fun this game because there are so many cards in here that just, uh, I think it's very interactive and you guys are gonna guess a lot of things while we play. Oh God, ain't oh, got yeah. time for this saw crap. Ask, asking <laughs> ourselves why we decided to bring you to the table. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's the first question. Wanna play a game? I, I wanna guess why Derek chose the commander he oh, chose. Yes. Oh yes, yes, I decided to play Lady Orca. Cause she's super pretty. Like, call me Lady Orca, get at me. And I just wanna look at her face. Also, I understood the assignment. Apparently y'all didn't listen. So I went to Rakdos because I felt like rakdos -y, and it's the least played Rakdos commander, period. Because Lady Orca has no actual text, it's just flavor text, I decided to build around the flavor text. And the flavor text mentions that she breathed hot fire on someone. So it's fire breathing tribal. So I just built an entire deck where everything has fire breathing. So you have like five Dylons in here? Exactly. Yeah, and like I just, and the whole purpose is to give Lady Orca fire breathing and just, just spit that hot stank breath at every everyone at the table. So basically it's a mixtape commander. I got you. Oh, 100%, 100%. I'm just glad someone has a worse commander than me for a change. <laughs> that really feels, it feels good. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. Ken? Okay, I didn't understand the assignment, but you know what? Y'all don't even have to worry because I'm not even casting the commander. It is Joda, Archmage, Eternal, AKA Doctor Strange. And I play Woo Bird colors. You guys know what Woo Bird stands for by now. It stands for what utter, broken, ridiculous garbage. That's right, we play nothing but the stankiest of the jank in this deck, baby. And we get down with that. And Joda says, like I says, you don't gotta worry about it, but you pay Woo Bird 
and you can cast spells for free. But like I said, don't even worry about it. He ain't even leaving his house. He gonna stand there where his knife is comfy because, you know, it's a pandemic and he wanna stay there. Are you vowing not to bring out your commander in this game? I am vowing not to. Under not, no circumstance. Whatsoever. Are you, I was about to say, you crossing some toes? Oh wow, you just made a pinky. You right there. That's it's it. On, it's on camera. So, so this yeah. is just, this is like exactly. crappy Canadian Highlander over Ooh. here. Ooh. I'm telling you. Otherwise known as Australian Highlander. I'm just kidding, Australia. I'm just kidding. All right, shall we roll for high with two D6s, which is the proper way to do it. Not with a D20, but with two D6. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you see what happens when you talk all that trash? All you that, see what happens. All that garbage. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, it's impressive. Nine. Nine. All right, I'm calling it. I'm going to roll a six. Nine, ooh, look at that. I don't even want to roll. This is about to be embarrassing. I feel like a one and a two. Oh! oh! oh. And you know what? Sometimes you got to downplay yourself to be the true king that you need to be. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, king. All right. <laughs> so at least uh, I get to go second? Yes. yes. All right. Let's resolve mulligans. Well, Ricky Bobby said, if you ain't first, you last. So you do with that as you will. I, I guess now is a good time to say I actually have never played with this deck before because I built it just for all of you and apparently I'm the only one who followed the rules that we all made. <laughs> and I can go back in the Discord chat and find the moment that we settled <laughs> on the rules of no card more than a dollar. You could, honestly, I was probably asleep when you said that, so I'm gonna just go with it. <laughs> I'm gonna just go with whatever you say. Ken doesn't understand the concept of checking phones, Discord, Twitter, anything that communication. He just I, I noticed this, uh, an extreme lack of feedback from you and all yeah, our questions sir. in the in my Discord defense, chat. In my defense, whose turn is it? Uh -huh. It's yours. Yeah. Okay. So no are you? Are, is everybody resolved on their mulligans? Um, yeah. I'm what actually kind of mulligan keep, are we doing? You can mulligan one. First, first one's free. Yeah. Just like most Magic: The Gathering. I mean drugs. <laughs> all right. That's how you get. It's the gateway. Mulligans are the gateway to exactly making poor decisions. What are you buying? What, what are you, are you selling? selling? <laughs> So I, I'm, I know I'm a little really insight curious. into I'm what really Ken's theme is, but I, yeah, I want to see how this works. I feel like the deck you showed me is not the real one. You swapped it out last second just to like make me feel better. No, no. What I showed you was that true garbage. Like if I like I showed my I showed my mom this deck. She don't even know what magic is. She told, she read me the riot act. She was like, look, son, you can't leave the house with a deck like that. I'm sorry. What brand of sleeves are those, Ken? These are Dragon Shield. Transparent. Transparent. But did I see a flip card? Yeah, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that when I shuffled it. <laughs> I just Commander noticed. is a casual format where your friend with transparent <laughs> sleeves can have a flip card, and we're <laughs> Do we, do, we, do we need a marker card? No, 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 no. It's Ken. Commander's a casual. He made his choices, and now he has to live with it. This is why we play with Ken. I literally didn't notice that until that happened. I was uh -huh. like, transparent cards, because it's going to look cool on camera. And then I got two flip cards in there. You got two? <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to One More Mana for uh, all kinds of great Magic the Gathering tips and yeah. strategies, such as put flip cards in transparent sleeves so that you know when you're about to draw that card. Okay. We like to make other players feel better about themselves. Yeah, yeah. And about their playing skills, deck building skills in their, in their okay, choice we, we'll of sleep color. That. And the words of the Joker, away we go. We're gonna play. Are you gonna draw first? <laughs> so Ken's never actually played Magic before. We found him on the road on the way here. He I'm, gonna like draw. I'm gonna play Cave of the Frost Dragon. Uh, well, if you control two or more other lands, Cave of the Frost Dragon enters and tapped. Uh, it taps for one white, and I can pay four and a uh, white to turn it into a 3-4 dragon with flying. Okay. Cool. What color is that dragon? None of your business. Okay. Draw. I will play a swamp. Oh, and pass the turn because I have nothing else. Turn one swamp ass. Turn one keep, swamp ass. Keep it fair. I see. I, we like, it's this is, we're trying to keep it family friendly here. It's turn one swamp butt. Swamp butt, yes. A swamp pass. It was a... Swamp pass. A pun. Don't move through the swamp pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, cheat and play an island. Sorry, sorry. Move. Most broken. broken card in Magic. Um, and I will pass the turn. All right. Said, so, do you want to see something really broken? I'm gonna play a tapped Bloodfell Caves, and when it enters, I get to gain a life. So now I'm winning. So that land just gave me the lead. So, so you're on the throne. 100%. Okay. Watch out. 
I'm always on the throne, especially of the Taco Bell. All right, is it on me? Do do. Yes. yes. I'm That's... going to untap and draw. I'm going to play. You know what? I like swamps. I want to play a swamp too. I want to be included in this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It said you on y'all. And then I'll pass her. Play oh, okay. islands. Okay. Well, I think island's a good play, which is why I'm going to copy it. And then I'm tapping both my island and my swamp for a fire diamond. It comes into play tapped, but once it's untapped, I can tap it for one red mana, and I will play that red mana as a mana source. It says so on the card. I don't know what I would play it as otherwise. Yeah. I'm all tapped out. Pass the turn. So basically you cheat. You, you mana ramp it. Okay. I'm, that's not cheating. That's called <laughs> how you play commander. Okay, we call it cheating for where I'm from, but okay. <laughs> So before the end of your turn, I'm going to play a trickery charm. There is a lot of text. I, I, I have no idea what this card never does. Never heard of it. Yeah, you're gonna say that most of the time for most of the cards I play in here. Uh, but it's an instant for one blue. It has a lot of modes on here. Target creature can gain fly until end of turn. Target creature becomes a type of a creature type of my choice until end of turn. Or I can look at the top four cards in my library and put them back in any order. So you can see which one I'm gonna choose, right? No. So, uh, yeah, you're gonna give the creature uh, plus one, plus five, ain't you? I knew he was gonna do some of that man. I was like, is he what what is he holding one man up for? Island. <laughs> Should have known the second turn one island. Red flag. Uh, you ever get Blue those flag. moments where you try to like uh rearrange your deck and you're just like, yeah, it's fine how it is. That's what karma's for. So that would have let you rearrange the top four. Yeah. That's pr pretty good. What sets that from? Um Invasion. <laughs> I think it's invasion <laughs> if I know my set symbols. Which... All right, so that was at the end of your turn. Yes. So uh, I'm gonna untap, gonna draw. Uh, we're just gonna play a little command tower here, and we're just going to tap those two and drop down a Strionic Resonator. That's not what I had in mind when I thought Jank off. Yeah, that's, yeah, sir. Oh, that's, that that's, that's whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, is it, isn't it though? Boo this man. <laughs> moo moo hiss. Like, like what, what, what are we doing here? What are we Jank. doing here? What happened to the fair magic? He's ramping out of control. He got five lands over I'm here. ramping with a fire diamond. I'm gonna pass the turn because you, I feel so much better. judgment. You better. So much judgment right now. I'm gonna untap and draw. Ooh. ooh. I'm gonna play a myriad landscape that'll come into play tapped. Taps for a colorless two. The good old tap and sack to get two basics that share a basic land type into play tapped. Sack tapped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I needed further emphasis, just to be fair. I'm going to tap one red, and I'm going to play a Faithless Looting. So I can draw two cards and then discard two. I know Faithless Looting from Modern. I remember when that was, you know, Modern All-Star. And then I will discard Kazul's Fury, and I will discard a Swamp, because who needs Swamps? And I will pass the turn. All right, first I'm going to draw and pray, because I need some help. <laughs> I'm gonna play planes, and I'm looking angrily at my hand and pass her. <laughs> All right, that is not five color, sir. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> I want to hear your sass. <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll play a mountain so that Grixis is online. It was already online thanks to my fire diamond, but now it's super online. So it came online for you cheating. Okay. Yep. And uh, if you want to call it that, but I want to go ahead and tap all three properly to bring in my commander. Oh my, it's Tetsuo Umazawa, 3-3, three, three, Slayer of Nicol Bolas, and about to get very, very nasty against all of your creatures, which none of you have. All right, pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap, draw the card that I knew that was there. Play the Cave of Koilos. Can tap for a colorless, or can tap for a white or black, and it deals one damage to me. I'm going to choose to have it tap for a colorless, as I pay three for a Pilgrim's Eye. Mm. And I'm going to search for a basic land, and reveal it, and then put it in my hand. I think I can get a swap, so I can join a swamp club. No. <laughs> uh, I'll pass the turn. Okay. We'll untap. I have, I have what's called a blocker. And draw. I don't like that. I, I really don't. I'm going to play a mountain as my land for a turn. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap three mana to play a Coalition Relic. I don't How know. is that jank? Oh, it's, oh it, I, it made the budget. Look, <laughs> I'm trying to play Fire Breathing. I needed some mana rocks to, I have a seven mana commander. I'm noticing a lot of different things here. It's either jank or it fits the budget. Which one is it? I'm gonna play this janky card. It's called the Mana Crypt. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> the it's just a silly strategy. little thing. The overall strategy is jank. This janky old I will soul pass ring. the turn. This janky old soul ring. I'm gonna draw. 
Soul Ring is jank, by the way. Whoa, whoa, what? Soul Ring Sir, is jank. It's less than a dollar, so it, it can technically be in my deck. Coalition Rock is only like two bucks now. Is it really? Or like it was, I don't remember, but it was cheap. That wasn't one of the cards I had to like. Yeah. What are you gonna discard, Ken? Shut your mouth. Are you are you mana screwed? <laughs> you shut up. I don't want anybody. Gosh. Don't even look at me. So so Ken, would you say if I only had one more mana? <laughs> no. It's on your shirt. I refuse. And I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a book of the exalted and pass her. I'm oh. so sorry. Oh man. So, but so. you are doing a good job advertising the channel. Yeah. It hurt so bad. You know the messed up part? I should have kept, you know what? I'm gonna let it go. Yes. I'm gonna play a swamp. And oh my, we can have some fun here. Let's go ahead and spend all five. Oh, oh, already. These are threats. For Kazakar, the Eye Tyrant, a legendary beholder, a 5-5. Five, five. Whenever you attack a player, tap target creature that player's controls and goad it which means until my next turn, that creature attacks each combat of Able and attacks a player other than me. Whenever an opponent attacks another one of your opponents, you and the attacking player each draw a card and lose one life. Okay. That's quite a lot. It's 86 cents or whatever. It's, I don't know what it is. It's not a dollar. That's really good. Yeah, it is. He's actually gonna be the commander of my next deck that I build. Move to declare attackers. Okay. I'm going to attack Derek. I'm on the throne. What is the power of Sir Tetsuo? Three. 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 In response, I'm going to tap my coalition relic to put a charge counter on it. Okay. And then I will take three. All right. That's what you're doing. That's yeah. three three commander, sir. Oh, you're right. When that happens, uh, uh, tap target creature that player controls. You don't have a target creature. You do not have a creature. So there you go. I would have attacked you, Ken, but that would just be like, beating up on someone, so I didn't want to do that. That would just be mean. First of all, yeah. at one more mana, we don't believe in showing mercy. Oh, really? <laughs> no, listen, there's, no, right. there's no mercy in our dojo. <laughs> Pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. <clears throat> Draw. Ooh. Okay, first I'm going to play a swap. And um, let's play a game. We are playing a game. Let's play a game within a game. Harzard's banned. <laughs> We'll find a way around it. Uh, I'm gonna play Conundrum Sphinx. I have no idea what this does. Why does everything you play have a book on it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's 4-4, uh, four, four, Sphinx with flying. Whenever it attacks, uh, each player name a card. Then each player reveals the top card of their library. If the card the player revealed is the card that they name, they can put it into their hand. If it's not, put it on the bottom of their library. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I love that card now. I'm just gonna name Island <laughs> or Forest. <laughs> I'm gonna keep up some blockers and I'm just gonna pass the turn. I'm scared. Okay, just interesting. Scared. I'm gonna untap all of my things. Draw a card. Hmm. So free combat main phase, charge counter gets removed and I get a mana. All right. So I have potentially a lot of mana, I think. I have, I'll play a mountain as my land for turn. So I have six mana available. So we're gonna go tap, use the floating mana. Go two, three, and four. And I'm going to play a fire mine vessel. All right. So, so it enters the battlefield tapped, and then I can tap it for two mana of different colors. Am I a joke to you? What? 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 Like, what is this? I'm just trying to taunt you. Like, I'm just looking across the table, just ramp, in your eyes. Ramp so hard. If I had other allowed, would you give your friend uh, some mana? Oh, my f well, please. Friend please, is a relative term. Please, sir, may I have some mana? Ma mana is a relative term. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead after that, and I will pass the turn. We're going to draw with the spirit of Yu-Gi-Oh. How'd that work out for you? Didn't work out too well. No. But, but you know what? You know what? I'm okay. I'm going to tap three. Ooh. That was past Nightmare. What is that? It's a saga. Uh, destroy target creature uh, opponent controls with power two or less. Anybody has power two or less? Uh, this Pilgrimar. I tell that Pilgrim to go home. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to your home. So long, Pilgrim. You lived a good life. Right now, this Elf's Path is on one. And um, of course, each turn it goes up. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. Mmm, interesting. I don't like the sound of that. I will go ahead and play an Exotic Orchard. This I can tap to produce a mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. What a budget buy at under a dollar. Right. Fantastic. 
Let's go ahead and I just think that we're gonna tap three for an uphill battle, not for me of course, but for all of you, because uphill battle is an enchantment that says creatures your opponents play come into play tapped. Oh. oh. <laughs> what, 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 deska. <laughs> what is this? Spend three for an agitator ant. Ooh, I know that one. What's it do? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, Call it, out. Well, what it does is okay. it, what it so, does. It, no, what, no, what no, it no, does. Hold on, hold on, I don't, hold on. I know what it does. I know what it does. Set it up. That's what it does. <laughs> okay, first of all, it goads. It does goad. We can put counters on our creatures. And I think if we do, then we go them. Yeah, that's basically it. I mean, that is basically it. So at the yep. beginning of my end step, any of you can put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control, but then I go to each creature that had counters put on it this way. Mm -hmm. I was starting to notice Man, if only, if only Ken could put a counter on a creature he controls. <laughs> I'm, start oh. I'm starting to notice a thing with your deck, Prof. I'm not liking it. <laughs> only $50. Said, I'm gonna attack you with my 5-5 five, five Beholder. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna block that because I don't have the Pilgrim. Well, uh, when it attacks, I uh, can tap target creature that you control, which I will, Okay. and that is goaded. Okay. And you take five. I will take five. He said, behold this. Mm -hmm. To the face. To the face. To the face. All right, he's goaded, and- uh, I'm done. Anybody may put two in during my end step. Anybody may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. And it is now double goaded, I guess. Oh, I guess it has to hit someone except for Prof. <laughs> Ken, Derek, do you guys want to put counters on any of your creatures? I want to. Yeah. I'm gonna hold back for now. Okay. I feel like that's I'm good where right. I'm at. Yeah, okay. I got I got an invisible germ token that I'm looking at, but yeah, yeah. outside of that. All right. I'm gonna untap while you do all of that. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card. I'll pay three. And we're gonna drop a dark steel ingot. It is indestructible artifact, and I can tap it to add a mana of any color to my mana. It's indestructible? It's indestructible. Because the struggle is real. And it knows the struggle. All right, man, I have to move to combat, and unfortunately, I have to hit someone who is not prof with the 6-6 six, six Sphinx. Hey, you come over here and just untap mana if you want to. Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> Shut up, Derek. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Before I swing, because I'm a smart magic player, I'm going to tap this What's ingot. That like? Man, it's like living a dream. I'm gonna play a uh, instant called Telling Time. Mm. Uh, I can look at the top three cards in my library, put one of them into my hand, one on the top of my library, and then one on the bottom. Of my is that library. target player? That is uh, me, just just me. So you don't want to target me? <laughs> I'm gonna target you, all right. One, two, three. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we're gonna put this here. We're gonna put this here, and we're going to put this on the bottom. I hope so bad he forgets what card he just put on top. Mm -hmm. It can happen. Um, I'm a father of two, so <laughs> my memory is very shot right now. All right. Like you don't even remember that you already went to went your combat step. Man, I'm, I miss combat. Okay. Uh, moving into combat and attacking. So, um, can you already yeah, know what's happening? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's a trigger on the stack. Uh, everyone gets to name a card on the top of their library. If it is that card, you can put it into your hand. Forest. I'm gonna name a. I'm gonna name. Gonna go, a, what's priority? Right here? Uh, I'm gonna name planes. Planes. Okay. Forest. Forest. Rakdos Gilgate. Uh, set of planes. So, I get a planes and it goes. Did you? Plane. I'm gonna go with molten steel dragon. It's a mountain. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just say out of solidarity with Ken. I'm gonna say forest. If he turns up a forest. <laughs> oh, it's a cruel ultimatum. Oh wow. Oh. It's less than a dollar, folks. All right, and those cards go to the bottom of your Oh, life. come on! <laughs> That's my win condition. That's literally the only I win condition in this deck. I fly across the table. That's my win condition. I hope you can fly faster than a space is coming at your face right now. <laughs> Which is six, by the way. And is there a uh, trigger because of uh, your eye tyrant? So each draw a card and then lose a life. Okay. We each. No, no, me and the goaded. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what they get for being goaded. Prof, you lose a life, I lose right. a life, and draw a card. Yeah, a I wise lose. man once said reading the card explains the card. And Ken, you'll- A uh, wise man once said, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass the turn after that. Uh, is, <laughs> is that a reference from a movie or your life? <laughs> I'm gonna draw. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, prop. Yes. 
You ever heard of my life as a movie? <laughs> I will play a rogue's passage as my land for turn. Uh oh. Trying to get some unblockable damage, Anna. Trying to mix things up a little bit. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven to cast my commander, Lady Orca. There she goes. This may be the first time in Magic the Gathering history that anyone has ever said, I cast my commander, comma, Lady Orca. Based on EDA trick, it actually might be. Yeah. She's beautiful, she's here, and she's ready to breed some fire. So and I need to tap. she also comes in a play tap. She is at most one of those things because she doesn't herself have fire breathing. It's true. Not yet, because I'm going to tap a mountain, and I am going to cast a crown of flames. Onto her. It's an aura, right? Yes. Oh, I can't enchant Tetsuya. I can still enchant my own creature. Yes, you just can't enchant Tetsuya. So I'll play Crown of Flames, and that allows me to pay a red to give the creature plus one plus zero, or pay a red to return Crown of Flames to the owner's hand. Right. So Lady Orca is a f now a fire breather. Why would you want to give Tetsuya fire breathing? No, just just curious. I want everybody to breathe some fire. It's the, the theme. Yeah. I'll pass the turn to to the to Manalist Man over there. Okay, yeah, but okay. You know what? <laughs> you know what? No, no. I was, that, that cost you a card because this goes to the second target opponent reveals. And you, you draw a card first. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> this goes to level two. Target opponent reveals their head. You choose a non-creature card from that. That player discards that card. And because you wanted to sass me, Derek, show me your hand. Say it. <laughs> All right, I got some lands right here. I have some creatures right here. And here's my non-creature, non-land. I want you to get rid of your lands. Please. Oh, 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 if you get rid of the Plague Crafter, I will attack set. I can't, he can't. I can't. Oh, because non-creature, non-land. Yeah, read the card. Words are, I can't read, that's the problem. Oh, okay, you're good. Take a look, it's within a book. Read it, Rainbow. Oh, I was to ask if that was Dr. Seuss. Discarding Time White. Yes. Yep. Three, four, board. five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go to my end step and get rid of Laboratory Maniac. And then I will pass the turn and cry. <laughs> cry so hard. What kind of jank is Laboratory Maniac? I, I, I'm wondering, well, I mean, the Sphinx is jank. Yeah, it's pretty jank. That is pretty janky, but it is also pretty big at 6x. At a, at a you did that. I did do that. I'm also gonna do this. I'm gonna spend three, four. I'm gonna spend a uh, black, black from the exotic orchard uh, and mountain, mountain, so four. And I'm gonna tap Tetsua to destroy oh, that no. sphinx. No, Ooh. no, just got stabbed. Move to declare attackers. I'm going to attack Derek with the eye tyrant and it is going to tap and goad Lady Orca. Hey. And you take five damage. I'm gonna leave my Agitator Ant untapped in case I somehow need a blocker. I doubt that, but that's fine. And then I didn't play a land. Let's play a land for turn, a Sunken Hollow. Uh, just Comes dig, into play tapped. Dig the knife in the wound. I'll tap a blue and a black for a Ghostly Pilferer. Whenever Ghostly Pilferer becomes untapped, you may pay two. If you do, draw a card. Whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, draw a card, discard a card, Ghostly Pilferer can't be blocked this turn. Gotcha. That's some nice stuff. And now I move to my end step. Would anybody like to put counters on their creature? I would love to. Thanks for asking. Great. You get two counters. Let's go. Not and that I think she'll be here. And it's double goaded. One double for each goated. counter, I guess. Can't attack me. Twice. I just want to point out that the professor used my land more than I did. <laughs> Pass. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to drop an island. Island. I'm gonna pay three. And I'm going to play Playcrafter. See, that's the conversation I want to have with you, sir. Oh. No takesy backsies? No, oh, but okay, my poor, my poor Lady Orca. It's okay. Well, I mean, where was Lady Orca coming? I, yeah, I only had one choice. It was gonna be Ken, because <laughs> you could have killed it. But it's fine, I'll watch her die. Um, Psych my creature. That was just the it's best. Any creature, right? Yeah. Well, I'm actually gonna copy pick? that trigger uh -huh. with uh, Strionic Resonator. What a janky card. Strionic <laughs> Resonator. I've never heard of that one before in Commander. So for the first trigger, my Ghostly Pilferer is going to the graveyard. Okay. And for the second, I suppose my Agitator Ant is going to the graveyard. So I'm actually have to going to sacrifice this to itself and mm -hmm. then discard a card from my hand. 
which is going to be a counter spell because who needs those? Just straight up regular counter spell. Just, yeah. Total jank. Total jank. <laughs> Not played anywhere. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm gonna sacrifice Lady Orca because because you left me no choice, and I will I will watch her die slowly. I'll remember this. Yeah. And then I will discard a uh, Fires of Invention. Mm. Which shockingly was under a dollar. I'm going to because I have no creatures. Discard a mirror strike and a marionette master. Oh, those look like they would have been fun cards for you to they play. They would have been amazing cards to play. What a fun little deck you put together. I hope you get to play it someday. <laughs> that, that was just residual toilet paper. I'm gonna have to pass the turn because I'm 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 done. You sure? Yeah. You, you sure? You don't wanna you know, kick dirt on somebody's tombstone. You don't want to do that? I'm gonna untap and draw. Oh my gosh. Hmm. We're gonna go tap the fire mine vessel to play my own fire diamond, which fire diamond will enter the battlefield tapped and it can tap for a red. Then I will go ahead and tap for three mana. So we'll go one, two, and ah, three to play a light up the stage. So exile the top two cards until the end of my next turn, I can play those cards. So with light up the stage, I will exile a Brass's Bounty and a Tectonic Edge. I think I know which one you're gonna choose. So, well, both of them are both exiled. Them oh, so. you can play. And then Brass's Bounty for each land, I get a treasure and then Tectonic Edges. Yeah. If Strip Mine was like nerfed like seven times and decided it wanted friends. So I'll send these to exile and I will pass the turn. I don't have to untap because I've never used my mana. <laughs> I don't got to draw. Oh, you know what? Is That's, it a land? It's a land. Oh, thank okay. God. It comes in tap, but it's a land. By the way, this triggers everybody exile your graveyards. Oh no, my graveyard. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. No, 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 target opponents. Oh. Oh, target opponents. Yeah, tar target opponents. Apostrophe S. Okay. Say it. Just me? Yes. Are you being petty? Yes. Are we bringing, are we bringing Commander, Commander Petty here? Not right now, because I can't afford that. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, we'll for, unfortunately, I have to pass turn. All righty. Let's untap. Draw for turn. Is Prof the win on camera? <laughs> <laughs> you just jinxed it. Play a Temple of Deceit. I will scry one. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Now, let's go ahead and, does anyone have any creatures? Sorry. Yeah, huh. this is a, we're loners over here, social cool. distancing with the creatures. I'm gonna move to declare attackers and uh, said I'm coming at you mm -hmm. for five, six, seven, eight, three of that is commander damage. Ooh. I still think you have the, the biggest One, threat two, out, of, out of the seven. table to me anyway. Sure, okay. Second main, two red, and two more for Fomiko, the low blood. For Fomiko, the low blood, she's a three, two human samurai and Fomiko, the low blood has Bushido X, where X is the number of attacking creatures. What does Bushido do? Well, when this no one blocks or becomes blocked, it gets plus X plus X until end of turn. However, creatures my opponents control attack each turn if able. That's the best part, pass the turn. I will untap with no creatures. Draw. You know, we had creatures before. I don't know who played this Playcrafter thing that just happened and just it, murdered it, some creatures. Know, yeah, it could, so, have, so, been a, it so, could so, have been a so, time so. white. I'm gonna play a Ponder, because I'm curious. Total jank. Uh, yep. <laughs> Look at the top three cards. Yo, did library. you read the Discord? <laughs> how is Ponder not a jank card? How is, uh, explain to me how the card is is jank. I'm justify ready. your jank. I want yes. you to justify your jank. It's but justify it. All I'm doing is just looking at the top card uh -huh. and I draw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I get, to, I, get to choose, I get to choose the card I want and leave it there. And that's real jank. It's extra <laughs> recall. All you do is draw three cards. I'll like, just, I, I, just pull, I just pull what I need at the top of the barely library. better than Pot of Greed. Right. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at the top three. Okay. No okay. shame either. <laughs> Man, I, I think I just want to leave them, leave them here. Oh, cool! I get the draw card. Man, that's total jank. That's so bad. Yeah, that's such. I such even play janky, that. jank, jank. You feel good about yourself? I do. I do. I feel awesome. Uh, I'm gonna play a uh, planes for the turn. And let's see. Pay five. 
One, two, three, four, five. Uh, how about we do our commander? In response. Okay. I'm gonna tap two mana and crack my myriad landscape to go get two mountains. Gotcha. Um, I explained this at the beginning, but basically when she attacks, if the top card of my library is an odd card, I get to play it for free. And uh, after that, I'll just pass the turn. Then I will untap. And I will draw. Ooh. Okay. I want to play a mountain as my land for turn. Uh, well, I only have one card to play, so might as well do it. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I am going to play a Soul Fire Eruption. Yikes. So what I will does choose. That do. Yeah, I have no idea what that card is. Uh, I, I got it in a sealed <clears throat> pool. <laughs> choose any number of target creatures, planeswalkers, and or players. For each of them, I exile the top card of my library. Then Soulfire Eruption deals damage equal to that card's mana value to the permanent or player. And I can play those cards until the end of my next turn. Not for free. I still have to pay mana, but. That's incredibly complex. Yeah, so yeah. basically I'm picking every target. So picking you, picking you, picking you prop, and then each creature on board. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven targets. I'm gonna exile the top seven, and then it's gonna deal damage to each one if it's not a land, and then I can play them next turn. All right, that's pretty good. Red Where's that counter spell now? Yeah. Shh. I don't need it because- So <laughs> we'll go in order. Ken. Yeah. Are you feeling lucky? No, not exactly. Are you? <laughs> not this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna hit you with an Ignite the Future, so you take four. I got your fault. All right, and then next, prop. I will, <laughs> thank you so much for inviting us. It's a six, it's a Morton Dragon, so it's gonna be six damage to your face. All right, I can take six, I can take it. I'm at 33. And then next we'll go to the floating eye met. Yes. And we will flip a coveted jewel, so six damage to the floating eye. Just enough. Lame. That kills my beholder. The beholder. Then we'll go to Tetsuo next and flip, and it's just a mountain, so mm -hmm. you're safe. You we'll go to the... Uh, Fumiko. Fumiko. Sorry. She's a 3-2. Sorry, man. Uh, we will flip for Fumiko. Mountain. It is a commander sphere, so it'll hit Fumiko for three. She gone. Then we're gonna come over to Yannette, or Yannette. Good old YT. Wait. And it's gonna be a Shivan dragon. Are you serious? So That's gonna hit for six. thank you. So, uh, I actually think Derek's deck is the jankiest. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally all fire breathing. Yeah. See, that is my win con. Uh, and then last said a little hello. It's going to be a, just a temple of malice. So you okay. get zero to the face. So that. all these are exiled and I can play them until my next, the what? end of my next turn. And you still have those two other cards exiled that you can yes. play this turn. Then I can play this Tectonic turn. Edge. Realizing I probably should have cast the Brass's Bounty. Whoops. Should have cast uh, that first. I already played a land for turn. So these will go permanently to exile, and I do not have enough mana to cast anything else, so I will pass the turn. So you foobar us and save set. He killed my creature. What creature? Yeah, my his commander. commander's gone. Yeah, whatever. So I will pass, and I will organize the exile real okay. quick. Okay. So those are permanent. These are until next turn. Oh, she even dragged. That is the goal, to kill someone with that. That would feel so great. Keep dreaming. <laughs> One day, if I believe. Dream big. I don't need you to wake up. All right, I'm gonna untap that land and I will draw. But it's hilarious. All right, I drew for turn and I am going to go ahead and pass the turn. Wow, riveting. He has a game ender <laughs> card right there. Shots Goodness fired. me. Goodness me. What are we gonna do about Ken running rampant here? Untap. I still say kick him until he's dead. <laughs> draw. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, does anyone have any creatures? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Just butt naked over here. Cool. Let's do Dangling in the breeze. double red and two more for a Vengeful Ancestor. Vengeful Ancestor is a 3-4 flying spirit dragon. Can't you tell it's a dragon by that artwork? Whenever Vengeful Ancestor enters the battlefield or attacks, go to target creature. I guess I goad my Tetsuo Umazawa because it's not a May ability. 
goaded creature can't attack me. So, all right. Whenever a goaded creature attacks, it deals one damage to its control. Now, does that mean uh, in, until my next turn, that creature attacks each combat if able? So that's this turn. Yep. It has to attack. Yes. Uh, what are you adding con commander damage? I'm at three commander damage. What are you adding commander damage from me? Three. Three. Uh, Ken, you're not relevant to this conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to attack said with Tetsuo. I'm, I'm sorry, Ken. I'm sure you're you're great. They said to attack you first, but I think they might have been throwing me off the trail. I would like to put sadness on the stack. <laughs> sadness has priority. Counter spell. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> Pass right. the turn. Passing the turn. All right. I'm this is how untap. Jimmy feels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw. Um, our creature's coming to play tapped. Man, I just wish I could do things. I'm going to play a, a island. I'm going to put into play by casting Master of Predicaments. This is a 4-4 uh, four, four Sphinx. When it deals combat damage to a player, I get to choose a card in my hand. That player who I hit with Master of Predicaments gets to choose whether the card's converted mana cost is greater than four. If that player guessed wrong, I can cast a card without paying his mana cost. Why, why does your deck have stipulations? <laughs> <laughs> like, why can't you just play a creature and hit somebody? Oh, I mean, we can do that too. Am I holding three figures he, behind he just, my back? He just knows I don't like to read. Did I have Chick-fil-A for breakfast? Well, like, what is this? Just play a card. I'm going to pay three for Noble Benefactor. Mm. This is a 2-2 two -two, uh, cleric. If Noble Benefactor is put into any graveyard from play, each player may search his or her library for any one card and put that card into their hand. And then you shuffle your library. Nice. You're yes. welcome. Yes. And I'll just pass a turn because it can't attack and, you know, all that stuff. On your end step, I will tap my Coalition Relic to put a charge counter on it and hope I draw something good. And then I will move to untap. I guess I have a bunch of exiled cards I can play. Draw. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and... Certainly have a lot of mana there. I do. Yeah. And a lot of cards in exile. Almost a second hand. It really is, though. So what I think I'm going to do is... I'm going to tap for... This one comes off, so I have a floating mana. All right. I'll go two, three, and four, and I'm going to cast and Ignite the Future. So I exile the top three cards in my library until the end of my next turn, I can play those cards. Uh, uh, and really, then really cast fishing? my graveyard, I can cast them without paying their mana cost. Really fishing here, huh? Just, yeah, there's not much. There we go. I need more flamethrowing ability. So I will exile a Yi2 Fire Breathing. So it has flash, one and a red, it can give a creature fire breathing, so I can pay a red to give it plus one, plus oh. Vile Smasher. Total jank. That what was, a janky that was ass my, commander. I, I really, wow. I, it's like one of my favorite cards. Wow. What? Wait, 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 I need a judge. Wait, no, Vile I just, I love her. When was the last time you seen a Vile Smasher play? In, a, in the 99, just chilling. What? It's an ant Vile Smasher. Let's put that on it's the It's really plate. pretty, I like it. I'm going to then exile the Spine Rock Knoll. Um, can play that until the end of my next turn. So these will go into exile. Uh, Vile Smasher's probably not going to get played, but... I got, my my deck came in at like 80 bucks. I was like, I gotta throw something fancy in there. So Vile Smasher came in. It was supposed to be Jake. Yeah. I just, I, I love her. I won't play her. She will be left out, but you know who will get played? I feel like we're all getting played if you've got Spile Smasher in your jank deck. Yeah, like, I know that. Like, well, we're playing jank, but you know what? I got an extra $10 to play with. I'm gonna throw in something special. Just for that, I'm gonna attack you next turn, Ken. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm gonna play a Sheevan Dragon. That's what I wanna be playing. Comes into play with. tapped. So, yeah, it's gonna come in tapped. Sheevan Dragon, flying, 5-5 five, five, Dragon, can pay a red to give it plus one, plus oh. It is beautiful, it is classic. And then, as my land for turn, so I have not done that yet, I will go ahead and play a Mountain, and then I'll tap for three mana, and play a Commander Sphere. Pass the turn. I'm gonna draw. How you doing there, Ken? Are you rolling your eyes at your own deck? Yes. <laughs> I rolled my eyes so hard I almost broke my neck. Um do what? You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay four. Oh, he's casting. He's things. doing something. Uh, oh. Demonic pact. What? Okay. Huh? It he's costs... going out on his own terms. Oh. What's your first mode? At the beginning of my upkeep, I choose one. Oh, upkeep. Okay. I'm gonna pass the turn. All right. So live dangerously before you go out. Untap. I gotta do something. 
draw. People have some graveyards, don't they? I, I, I just, mean, I have a ponder. Define oh, graveyard. That's nice. <laughs> Two black and five for a. I believe this is a sphincter primordial. No, <laughs> sephulchral. Seph Sphincter Primordial. It's a 5-4 with Intimidate, total jank. When it enters the battlefield for each opponent, you may put up to one target creature card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. There should be some spicy stuff in here. You've got nothing, but uh, Ken, oh, I got you've got quite a graveyard. Oh, I have now. a buffet. Let's see. Oh, you Let me see buffet. what I Don't want to grab with my sphincter. If you would like, if you would say <laughs> recommendations, there is a oh. marionette master that would be lovely. You lo mm, mm, mm. That's a lot of words, <laughs> but I'll go ahead and do it. Marionette Master, fabricate three. When it's just battlefield, put three plus one plus one counters on it, or create three one one colorless servo artifact tokens. I will put three counters on it. Whenever an artifact I control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to Marionette Master's power. Yep. Cool. Move to declare attackers. I am going to attackers said with what my here? Tetsuo, <laughs> and I'm going to attack uh, Derek with my Vengeful Ancestor. I'm gonna build that Sheevan Dragon, hey. and you're taking, you're taking three. three. And that's commander damage, that's so you're more, up to nine. Three more commander damage. I will seek vengeance for the vengeance sought from the Vengeful Ancestor. You do that. Pass the turn. What's your Vengeful Ancestor's name? Tony. He look, I was about to say, I was about to say it looks like a Frankie, but Tony works too, yeah. Or Ezekiel, either one. I don't know about that. It's gotta be biblical. It's like, I hit you with. Tony is biblical. <laughs> oh, like yay, Tony like spoke. My, sounds like one of my uncles, hey, Tony. <laughs> I've got to draw for the turn. Oh, God. Okay, um, Prophet's trying to kill me. Prophet's trying to make you kill me. I mean. I can't try to kill himself. All right, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> at least Ken agrees with us. Like he needs Let's to go. Let's just let Ken do what he's doing here. I think it's working for him. <laughs> I have big, I have big ideas. <laughs> you let that man dream. It's only right I have that attack prof back. Uh, All right. The petty is keeping me blind. Come at me, bro. I'm going to attack prof in the air for four. Uh, I have no blocks. I take four. Okay. So now we're about to play a game. Oh, we are playing a game. Yeah. Here we go. A game within a game. Shaharzard's banned. Okay, so we're gonna play another game. Yes. It's called, is that card's converted mana cost greater than four? Yes. That's what you get. I don't have to reveal if I don't want to. <laughs> I win! <laughs> I win the game. I win the game. I win the I game. I don't have to play if I don't want to. Yeah, you lost. Sure. Maybe. How does it feel to lose? What happens like, to you? This is on camera. What do too. I get for you losing um, the game? You get the satisfaction of knowing that Cam's going to lose first. Uh, I already gonna, knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap uh, five, and I'm going to play a precognition. Now you're ready for the jank. All right. So getting my upkeep, I can look at the top card or target upon his library. I can then put that card on the bottom of his or her library. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good card. That is a terrible card. I mean, it costs five. If it costs like two, it'd be better. All right, I'm going to play a land for the turn, and I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap my Mountain of Mountains. Mountains of Mountains. First of his name. <laughs> I will draw. Let's go ahead, and I can cast things from Exile and, and do this and that. But what I want to do is play the Spine Rock Knoll as my land for turn. Mm-hmm. Coming out of exile. Coming out of, yeah. Spine Rock Knoll will come out of exile into play. So when it enters, I get to hide away, look at the top four, and I can just hide a little card under it. So let me look at the top four. Oh, oh yes, I already know what I'm taking. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this card. It's going under here. I really hope I get a chance to cast that. Uh, Soul Ring. Said, how much life do you have? 20? Too, too low, too little. Too little, too late. I want to go ahead then and cast, I'll tap three mana for a Theater of Horrors. So at the beginning of my upkeep, I exile the top card of my library. During my turn, if an opponent lost life, I can play lands and cast spells. Um, then I can also pay four to deal one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. I'm gonna go to combat, and I want to swing this beautiful Sheevan Dragon over your way, Sid. Why my way? 
can't attack me. You can, yeah. And it would just be kind of that would it would be like kicking a puppy to attack Ken. <laughs> like Although it would be I like do, kicking uh, uh, an there, inju- an already injured puppy. There is nothing like a puppy when we're talking about Ken. It just doesn't equate. And I'm gonna come at you, said, uh, and I'm also gonna go ahead and spend one. Is oh, that? this is two, sweet. Oh, three. This is sweet. Four. This is five, sweet. six, seven. Eight, nine? Wow, this is pretty sweet. So this is a 14, 14 Sheevan Dragon. Wow. Coming at you. That's you, pretty sweet. Why do you hate me? It's, it's out of love. Let's go. I think that's the Wow. Uh, Lady six. Orca, this is vengeance for Lady Orca. You murdered her in cold blood. She was just chilling with a little fire breath, a little stank breath, and you killed her for it. So this is revenge. And I will pass to Kennethy. I am dying to see what happens this turn. <laughs> These go to exile. Tell. Well, how big is that creature that if it goes to the graveyard, we're going to go get a card? I'm sorry, what? 2-2. Two, two. It's Okay, I'm going to do four damage to that creature, and then we can all go search and put a card on top. Put a card in your hand. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. When this goes to the graveyard, each player can search their library for a card and put their card into their hand. I'm going to do four damage to that. Okay. He, he seems very happy about so we that. we all get all the right. tutor? Um, Ooh! Yes, please. I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't do. Mm. I'm going to copy that trigger. Ooh, sweet. Love you. So we get two cards. This is the saddest day of my life. He's searching for land, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have to reveal. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this needs to be done. I don't care. <laughs> I know what I would go get. There's no shame in this dojo. And then I'm going to draw for turn. <laughs> Glorious. I'm going to play a land for the turn. I think we should kill Ken. He's got too much mana. Shut up. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Wait, what else am I going to do? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay three. Then I'm going to cultivate. He's ramping. He's gonna die with mana and be happy. <laughs> die if, a happy man. If, if I die with lands, I will be. I will not even be mad. He's gonna come in second. I mean, it's this great. Is very true, yeah. I'm gonna it's be real. Be. There's no such thing as second in commander. I play for second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Dispute I'm, that. I'm sorry. No, don't, <laughs> take that <laughs> don't take that away from me. Sorry to shatter that. Don't take that away from me. Y'all look really sad when I said that. Yeah. <laughs> My two favorite decks have won a combined total of two games in like three years, so I will not hear that. I put a uh, island into play, and I'm going to put a forest into hand. And then I will pass the turn. May you have mercy, sir. Oh. I, I let you draw two free cards. You let me do nothing. Your, it happened. I, I clearly tapped that Stryonic Resonator for it to happen. Untap. I didn't hear a yes or no. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> I mean, I'm upkeep. Gonna, acceptance is the first step. Draw. Play an island. Crying is the second. <laughs> Oh, bargain? this is going to be so sweet now. Strike a bargain? Six, huh? Oh. oh this is going to be sweet. Are you? Do you have any creatures? Uh, I have a tapped creature. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And Derek, do you have any creatures? Just one. And just a sleeping dragon. Just a sleeping dragon. Let's Shall go with it. Derek. I'm going to think about what I'm going to do oh. to uh, our friend Cedric here. May you, but May you have mercy, sir. All right. Uh, I've got two blue. Please. One, sir. two... Black, and the third black will come from Ken's Swamp just because. And then two red. Something cruel is about to happen. Something then, very cruel is about to happen. So we it, are tapping. Is it happening ultimatum? Three black, two blue, and two red for a cruel ultimatum. Target opponent, Derek. Oh, thank you. Sacrifices a creature, oh. discards three cards, then loses five life. I return a creature card from my graveyard to my hand draw three cards, and gain five life. I do have a response. Uh Uh-oh. In response, I'm going to sacrifice my commander's sphere to draw a card. All right. So that I have more than three cards in hand. (laughs) Okay. And that is my only response. Interesting. All right. So, uh, sack a creature. Bye-bye, dragon. Discard three cards. I will discard a Rakdos Locket, a Mountain, and a Mana Geyser. Even in a jank deck, why would you play Lockets? It was uh, a joke. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, they're in pre-cons. Yeah, they draw like, you cards, right? I thought Look at that. Cool. I Ramp and card advantage. Right. So I get to return a card from my graveyard to my hand. I'm gonna bring back my uh, lovely Eye Tyrant, and then I'm gonna go ahead and gain five life. 
one, two, three, four, five. Just playing a life game deck now. Oh, hello. I need to interrupt the game for one moment to acknowledge a boo-boo. You see, Derek failed to take his damage from Cruel Ultimatum, and nobody at the table, nor any of the cameramen or on-site staff, noticed. If he had taken the proper damage, he would have been dead a lot sooner. Luckily, this does not affect the end game in any drastic way, but I do apologize for this inconsistency. Hopefully, it does not detract from your enjoyment of the rest of the game. All right, bye-bye. Uh, and I draw three cards. One, two, three. Lovely, lovely. I still have mana untapped, too. Two mana untapped. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and uh, tap two for a charcoal diamond. It comes into play tapped, and I may uh, tap it to add a black to my mana pool. I may only play that as a mana source. You're at six life. I'm, You're about to be gone. Uh, yeah. Move to declare attackers. Uh, I'm going to come at you with my four, six, my four, six, and my three, four. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, Derek, I'm going to come at you for five, and then six, seven, eight, commander. I have a response. Yes. I'm gonna pay a blue. Uh huh. To play Spy Network. Look at target player's hand. Uh huh. The top card of that player's library. Uh huh. Any face down creatures he or she controls. Yeah. And I can look at the top four cards of my library. Okay. And rearrange them in any order. Great. I can't even call that farting before you leave the room. That's more of like a... <laughs> I, thought, I thought like you was going to say, like, look at my hand and make me discard a card to just take um, something from I just, me. I just want to see what's going on over here. This is what's going on. You, sir, are a heathen. <laughs> this deck is 50 bucks. No card is over a dollar. Who told you this deck was bad? Because they lied. Yeah. George. <laughs> Shout out, Jorge. Uh, I can look at any face down creatures you control. I, I have had it. I can look at the top card of your library. If it helps. You are a monster, sir. Yes, I am. Uh, you're dead and you lose eight. eight. <laughs> and I think what I'll do too, just so, oh, nah, I won't. I probably shouldn't touch the creatures. So Three more commanders, so I go to six commander damage. Yeah. <laughs> Any final words? Parting um, words? I feel like you, um... Okay, that's enough. Uh, it's my turn now. We will, uh... Oh no, you're still going, actually. <laughs> I pass the turn. Okay. I will untap. On my upkeep, there is a theater of horror triggers, so because mm -hmm. I just love exiling my cards, I'll exile the top, which is a runaway steamkin. So that will be exiled, and I can play it if someone takes damage this turn, uh, and then I will draw for turn. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the theme and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh -huh. and then nine, ten, and I'm gonna cast an apex of power. All these pre-con cards are great. So I exile the top seven cards in my library. Until end of turn, you may cast spells from among them. Not for free, but if I cast this from my hand, I can add 10 mana of any one color. Okay. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So like, I wanted to be on theme with fire, so I figured exiling my cards was like fiery and red and whatever. So yeah, so I, that, that all my no. card advantage is That's red. No, that makes no sense. I. That's like washing your clothes in the dishwasher. What you doing? I've done that. <laughs> I have not done that. Except one weekend, it was it was a rough time. So Apex of Power, I'm gonna exile top seven. So we have one, two, three, four, oh gosh, five, six, seven. You have ten red mana, apparently. Ten red mana. Man, that uh will of misfortune is is looking. Oh yeah, that's actually quite tempting. I'm here to do one thing, and I came here to do one thing. I'm gonna spend nine of that ten mana. Wow. Eight of that, and then a black to cast Lady Orca. All right. And I have two red floating. One of the red, I am going to go ahead and play a Dragon Mantle on Lady Orca and to give her fire breathing and draw a card. Hey, I'm, I'll give you props. I'll give you props. Dedicated to this. And I think with those props, I will target you above Ken, because Ken is, <laughs> I don't know what Ken is. He, he's on a self-destructive path. And then I will use the last one I have floating along with this and this to cast that Wheel of Misfortune. So what happens? So Wheel of Misfortune, basically what it says is, I, nobody, nobody knows what it says, to be honest. We're just gonna make up rules as we go. No, so everyone picks a number. So the three alive players pick a number. You can pick one if you wanna feel included. We're just not gonna reveal it. Um, we each pick numbers. Whoever picks the lowest number does nothing. 
The other two players wheel. Whoever has the highest number also takes damage. Okay. So how do we reveal? How do you uh, you... So we just pick a number on a die or okay. some combination of die. So we each pick a number, mm -hmm. any number. Any number. So if you, for example, just if you pick a zero, you're just guaranteed not to wheel. So if you like your hand, oh. you pick zero. All right. Do, do we have to reveal? Do we reveal. How, so do we'll... we, how do I pick zero on a d d set? Just, just yell it. Zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> oh, well, the, the, you all revealed it. I was going to go three. So, so you did go I, three. So I take three damage. Yeah. And then me, I wheel, you guys keep your hands. Good. Okay. Because I really want my hand. I've got, I went for Start this that, card specifically one, along with the cool two, ultimatum. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then I will go ahead and pass the turn. I believe these are now in exile forever. Perma, perma exile. Okay, I will untap. I will draw a card. This gets a little better. What was the upkeep trigger? Upkeep okay, trigger, I'm going to draw two cards. All right, Ken, are we, are we gonna work together? I feel dirty saying that. I'm gonna play a land for 10. No, actually, I'm gonna pay two. To play a Druid class. A Druid class it has three modes. First mode is I, whenever I play a land, I gain a life. Second mode is uh, if I go there, I can play an additional land. And third mode, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds like about creating a creature with lands that- It's a paragraph on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to play my land for turn, gain a life. Then I'm going to tap. Is he trying to like survive his own death? <laughs> trying to figure out what's happening here. I'm going to play to so take many, this to level two. How many modes are left on that pact? <laughs> I'm going to play on the He's just land. making him up at this point. He's <laughs> <laughs> making his own. Uh, this piece. time the demon <laughs> says I get to put a land into play. Then I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> so your next up, keep your dead. No, I have one more. You have one more. Target opponent discards two cards. Oh, How many wow. moles are on there? That's a lot. All right. Untap. Play that on turn four. I hear judgment in your voice. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this. High five. Draw. Oh, lovely. Let's play a mountain. All right. You can Derek, save me. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and do a blue, a black, and a red and destroy Lady uh, Orca over there. <laughs> See, she's tapped. Barrow. And. Uh, Umazawa uh, uh, and Tetsua, who destroys Nicol Bolas, can handle Lady Orca. Oh, Lady Orca, I, th I thought we were meant to be, but you're just meant to die again. And then I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, as well as a black and a red, using red from one of your own mountains. I'm gonna play a card, and he is Karvek the Merciless. Oh no. <laughs> Whenever an opponent plays a spell, Karvek the Merciless deals damage to target creature or player equal to that spell's converted mana cost. That should be fun. Move, two, declare, attackers, Derek. So what I will say is if you kill me, it's one less Karvek trigger. I will attack you for five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 damage. We'll take 12. Awesome, I pass the turn. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna untap. I think if you cast your commander, you die. <laughs> I, I think if anything happens, I die. Oh, I really want the card that's hidden away, but I can't get it out because I can't deal does, damage. Does the does the converted mana cost count the extra counters? No. No, no, it won't. But that's seven not. is so. so dangerous. I will exile the top. Theater of Horrors is a foreboding <clears throat> ruins. This will get exiled permanently. I'm just gonna let that sit in exile, and I will draw for turn. Ugh. We're gonna play a mountain for turn. So everything comes in tapped. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, what's your biggest creature? Oh, it's my just five all four bad. sphincter. The sphincter. No, my five four cavarac. Well, I have two biggest. I have two big ones. If you can't win, you go out doing what you love. That's what I'm talking and about. I love you, Lady Orca. So we're gonna see if I can cast you one last time. Say I'm the only player ever to cast Lady Orca. Three times in a game of Commander. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You going out on your own terms? 11, 12, uh, 10. No, I only need 11. Look at that. I got all this mana left. 11 mana for Lady Orca for a seven. All right, you take seven damage. That's no problem at all. I'm at three life, so I can spend it. I can still cast something for two mana. <laughs> you can go out on your own terms. <laughs> well, he could technically hit Ken. 
Ken's not a threat. <laughs> as long as Ken doesn't have a generous gift, which would be hilarious if Ken does a generous gift his turn. Would be um, hilarious. I don't have anything to cast that's useful. So Lady Orca, we're gonna die together. I will pass the turn. I will untap. If you do a generous gift on me, Ken, I will buy you drinks tonight. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I still have another mode. Target player discards two cards. Uh-huh. Was... Uh, discard two cards. Okay, yeah, I'll discard a an iron mirror Why Derek and a mountain. Me? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna draw for turn. That's a good question. Yeah, why did you pick me? I, I didn't think he had cards um, in his hands. Uh -huh. Oh, because I was holding them down in my lap. I didn't think he had I'll cards in his hands. I'll remember that. Okay, remember tonight. right now? I'm taking, no, I don't care. <laughs> I know where you Ken. sleep tonight, Ken. Ken. Yeah, I'll stay up longer than you do, so good luck. <laughs> I'll play two lands. That coming into play tap thing is very yeah. good. It, it killed me the entire game. Yeah. That is no, insane. it's just like you can't do anything. I, I also love that this is a $50 deck. That is... I didn't know... Oh, because Caravan got reprinted. Yep. I didn't even know that's... Play Flood of Tears. Return all non live permanents to their hands. Nice! So I'm gonna and then pick. don't you get to put something back? You have back to uh, trigger, uh, how much, what's the converted mana cost on Flood of Tears? Oh. Six. Six, you take six. I'll take six. Um, Non-land permanent. Non-land permanence. Uh, this is your marionette. Goes back to your hand. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I didn't really care for the card much. <laughs> <laughs> I would take your card and talk trash about it too. <laughs> That's like when you talk... Frost Titan will forever have your name written on I'm just, tent. nobody minds that Tetsuo is in my hand like this, right? I don't want to take no. him out of the top loader. You're good. And then I'm going to take Marionette Master and discard him because I have too many cards in hand. Then I'll pass turn. All right, untap. So you're saying there's a chance. He's saying there's a chance. See what happened? You left Ken alive. Yeah. Shouldn't have done that. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> when you ask that about your all dick. Yeah, cool. Let's go ahead and I'm going to play a Bajuka Bog, uh, exiling uh, all cards from Ken's graveyard. Just because just because he's starting to do things, it's making me nervous. Let's go ahead and spend uh, three, a uh, blue, a black, and a red, to bring good old Tetsuo into play. Let's go ahead and spend another three, a red from one of your mountains, to bring in an uphill battle. And then let's go ahead and spend... Yeah, do you have any? Do you have a graveyard? You have a big yeah, I got a graveyard. graveyard. Maybe yeah. I should have exiled your graveyard. This is very strange, so I'll just go ahead and do two for a fire diamond, which of course comes into play tapped. Pass the turn. I guess I'm going back to the basics. Untapping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have to discard. I'm going to discard my web of inertia, which is why, I, I, yeah, I couldn't figure it out, and this shiny impetus. Okay. We'll go ahead. Is that really the only one I have in hand? I will play... I don't have good options, which is... I can't play Lodi Orchia again. Oh, but Tetsuo's there. So... Yes. Instead, we're going to go ahead and tap one, two, three, four, and then five and six, and I will cast an Inferno Titan. Nice. Who is a fire breather. Yeah. And when it ETBs, I will hit Tetsuo. All right. Tetsuo will return to the command zone. Four whole mana. I can just do whatever I want. I can have some type of party. You know what? This might be a good time to tap one, two, three, and four. And then I will play a Rakdos Pit Dragon. Uh, I can pay two red to return, or it actually gains flying until end of turn, so somehow it, it doesn't have flying naturally as a dragon. It's a baby dragon. It's a little, it's a, <laughs> hey, Yugi, it's a baby dragon. <laughs> I can pay a red and it gets plus one plus oh, and then it has hellbent. So if I have no cards in hand, it gets double strike. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, and then I will pass the turn. I have more than seven cards in hand, so I'll discard. I'm going to pay two and flash an omen of the sea. And just so you, real quick, I'll discard a fire mine vessel and I'll discard a uh, fire diamond. Okay. Flash an omen of the sea. Unrated card, by the way. What does it do? Uh, omen of the sea has flash. I get two when it answers battle, I get to scry two and then draw a card. And then I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Then I'm going to untap. Got you. It, it, Ken, if you win this game. Yeah. I'm not saying anything. It just. 
You were the biggest threat. How was I the threat? You were bringing in sphinxes that I had to read. <laughs> Told you. I was not enjoying having to read, read that the, much. The, that was like a chapter from a book on each of those cards. I'm gonna pay one to play Soul Snare. What's that? That is a great card. Uh, whenever uh, I can exile a creature that's attacking me ah. or a planeswalk. All right. Then I'm gonna pay one, two. I don't like this. I have to attack you. You don't have to attack me. Where are all these lands? Did you just like, when we weren't looking, I think Ken just threw some lands out of the battlefield. He's got more lands than I do, I think, now. To play Demonic Pact. <laughs> and then I will pass turn. All right. Tricky, tricky. Untap. I just want to make it home. Ken hasn't played a creature yet. By the <laughs> side note, I did Keep miss a trick. draw. Before, but it's cool. Play a mountain. Let's do some things here. Um, I'm at three life. I just, just now realized that. One, two, three, four, five, and two for the merciless one themselves. We're just going to spend two to bring that charcoal diamond back into play. Of course, it comes in tapped. And I pass the turn. Okay. I will untap. Mm hmm. And then, hmm, how do I survive? This How is the question. Need. Don't cast a card. Yeah, like literally <laughs> though. As long as you know how to love, I know you'll stay alive. We're gonna go to combat first. I think that's my only way to do this. Come back back. I am going to send both the Inferno Titan mm -hmm. and the Rakdos Baby Dragon over towards the Professor. Okay. Total damage. Trigger. That would be, so first the Inferno Titan trigger. Um, mm -hmm. Deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three target creatures. In our, oh, not even the ones I'm attacking. Um, so I'll throw the three damage over towards your face, Prof. Okay, I take three damage on my face going to 31. Mm -hmm. You're at 31, so it would be nine damage as is. Are there any blocks? There are no blocks. Okay, the nine damage will come then, I guess. Do I have, I have an ability to pump after no blocks have been declared, correct, or no? Oh, my God. I had not realized that. I did I figured out. Yeah, blockers have been declared. Yeah. Yeah, blockers have been declared. Yep. Okay, so blockers have been declared. I'll go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will pump the, uh, I guess the Rakdos Pit Dragon by eight. So it'll be 17 coming through. Wow, so. And you already oh, took no, the three. Like the and then <laughs> second main phase, I'm gonna go ahead and activate my Spine Rock Null uh -huh. and cast my favorite card in the deck. Are you casting or playing? It's a cast. So I'm gonna die, but. I, I, do it. I need to. Ogre Menial or Menial, I, I can't speak, but it's Ogre somebody. It's an infect, beautiful little men with fire breath. Sure. Does it kill you? Well, does it? Back. It can. It's painful. Well, doesn't that kill you? It's so you get to choose. Whenever an opponent, pl yeah, it kills. Yeah, of course no, it kills you. Well, yeah, you get the point anywhere. Yeah, you can point it at any target. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? Thanks no, for giving no, me the how win. How about you give him another chance, like you do? Kids. No, he's like got you... two fire-breathing things and eight hundred red mana. Oh, is that scary? Yeah. Yeah. It's scary. It's scary. Not, yeah, I'm I killing you. Kill prop. Of course I'm killing you. I would win the game. You don't wanna, of course I'm killing you. You don't want to give him another five no. chances like you did Ken? Uh, no. Okay. Ken and is I no will... threat even <laughs> now. Look at him. <laughs> Ken, are you going to let him talk to you like that? Yes. I'm going to You're dead. I, I'm dead. super dead. Clear let me your board. Clear, clear it. Uh, avenge us. But yo, even the foil one under a dollar. So pretty. I love this card. I really like Infect. Fantastic, you're fire, dead. Fire breathing in. Boy, I was really scared for a second there, and then you just decided I was doing to mad. I was slip like, on a banana peel. I was like, I don't think I have an out, so I might as well cast my favorite card. Sure. Yeah, he, he had no I, I didn't even listen to what the card was, but I hope you enjoyed <laughs> it. Ken, you're up. All right, and with that being done, I'm going to say cap on your left. <laughs> uh, what is this? I'm going to tap two to scry two. Okay. On his aunt before he dies. So I'll look at those two cards. No, he's dead. Yeah, I'm He's super gone. Dead. Death is... I'll leave that there. Death is immediate. After lights. Oh, yeah, 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 true. That's just really... I'll untap. Even though that's not on camera, I want it just... Clear. Just for the effect, I yeah. understand. All right. I'll untap. I will draw. You have a mode with your... I do. Take four damage. Me? 
Yes. From what? Oh, the demonic pact. I would read it. Honestly, if I were you, I would read all of those books. <laughs> it does things. He's been lying. It's a it does time. less <laughs> things every turn. I'm going to tap one, two, three, to play a harmless offering. I just want to give you a gift. Oh. I knew it was in there. But doesn't it have like several modes left on it? It does. Okay. Why wouldn't you wait? I, I, You're giving me the heads up to get I'm, rid of that I'm thing. Going, yeah, I just want to get it off me now. Sure. Okay. And then I'll go. You can go ahead and take it. You take three. I will. Thank you. This seems like a harmless offering. So which ones are left? I don't remember myself. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. Fine. I'll just draw then. Okay. Did he just play it last turn? Yeah, no, I think you still have three modes left. Cool. Yeah, it's the draw. Right. I think it's draw, discard, and lose. So, right. I mean, you can choose lose. Cool. Um, then with one, two, I'll go ahead and play the Druid class again, and then I'll pass her. Okay, did you take damage from Druid class from Kevrek? I did. And then did you take damage from the Harmless Offering? He did. He did, okay, and you're done. You're passing to me, I'm huh? I'm passing the turn. All right. Untap. Uh-oh. Upkeep. I'm going to draw two cards. One, two. Draw for turn. All right. Let me think here. Let me think what Can I'm doing smiles. here. Um, uh, <laughs> Matt, sure Matt, Matt, here. Make sure y'all get that grin. Oh, oh! Oh, this is epic. This is epic. This is epic. I'm going to tap two. For a Dire Fleet Daredevil, when Dire Fleet Daredevil enters the battlefield, exit target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. You may cast this card this turn, and I may spend mana as though we're mana of any type. How do you know that's the one I'm casting? Well, it is. I'm going to spend three to cast a Harmless Offering and give you my uphill battle. No! The Demonic Pact. <laughs> this is exiled. Uh, oh, sweet. Sweet. Just re gifted it right back to you. you know. Sweet revenge. Um, yeah, that was just. I'm just gonna just sit the back and enjoy. This, so this, I'm not doing Jack. This is the part where he, he cheated, right? And he put the card on top of his deck. Oh, too. God, that felt amazing. Oh, get what he needed. Yeah. I'm, I, I don't even care. I'm just gonna pass the turn. He's not even gonna attack. No. T take your next one. What do you got? Uh, uh, it'll, it did four damage. So the target opponent discards. Right. Okay. I'm going to untap. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Upkeep trigger. Upkeep. Uh, you discard two cards. All right. I'm going to discard a Cardor the Doom Scourge. Love that card. And I'll discard this Rakdos Carn Car Car Carnival. Come at me. Bro. Come on, come at me, brah. Come at me, brah. We're gonna draw for turn. Yep. <laughs> Make your next move your best move. See, I couldn't tell if Ken's like grin was because he had something or he, he just knew he was dead. He, he, he did have something until Prof did that. Oh man, I'm just gonna sit back and let come on. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> That's my my promise to you. I'm just gonna sit back and let that pact kill you. Ken's got the look of somebody who's yeah. like wife just caught them in like a real like a very <laughs> obvious situation he doesn't know how to get out of. But he's he's gonna lie. Oh, a hundred percent. Hang on. Hang on. Just let me <laughs> you're not considering you're not, something. You're not, you're not listening. <laughs> you're not listening. No, now you, you're doing more of this. <laughs> that is a bold move, said. I'm, I'm not speaking from experience. Seven. <laughs> seven. To play Genesis Ultimatum. Oh, <laughs> Trick on stack. In response, I'm going to tap uh, a red, a red, and another mm -hmm. to play Dual Caster Mage. <laughs> and I'm going to copy the Genesis Ultimatum. Okay. Okay. You ultimatum me, I ultimatum you right back. That works. Okay, can someone explain to me what this card does? Yeah, you got okay. to read it. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest in your hand. I'm sorry, what? Exile the card. So everybody's flipping the top. Now we're just playing the lotto right now. So flip the top five. Top so you, five. Top five. Now this is the Wild West right here. So just yeah, one, one two, two, three, four, five. So yeah, all four, all five are coming. All, all right, five are coming to play. Five. One. Two. Three. 
Four. Mine are less impressive. Five by a lot. Ooh, and a Royal, Royal Assassin. Assassin. That's fine. Underplay card. Yes. All right. All five of mine come into play. Now, this is gonna come into play. I'm gonna gain a life. Cool. Now you say you're gonna let the card kill me, right? I didn't pinky swear. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't pinky swear. So what all else is coming into play? Sad robot comes into play. Solemn Summer Lacrum, and then Celestial Convergence. It comes into play with seven omen counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, you remove an omen counter from Celestial co uh, Convergence. If there are no omen counters on it, the player with the highest life total wins the game. If two people are tied with the highest life total, the game is a draw. <laughs> all right, all right. So it's got go a bunch of counters. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my land. <laughs> and I'll grab a swamp. Okay, and then you have- You'll gain a life. I'll gain a life. And I'll pass the turn. What are the other creatures, real quick, just out of curiosity? Huh? You have a ravenous demon. Yeah, you have a lot of stuff on the board. What happened? Oh, that only happens if transforms if I sacrifice something. A human. And you have a frog? The frog, uh, when it deals combat damage. I exile uh, some target uh, cards from the graveyard, put counters on it, and gain life. Pass the turn. All right, I untap. I'm going to move my signet down here. Draw. Oh, that's an interesting one. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to pay a blue and exile seven cards from my graveyard and go on a little treasure cruise. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exiled. And I draw three cards. One, two, three. I'm just gonna go ahead. I don't like that whole thing. And I'm gonna tap two to uh, feed the swarm. Ooh. Of course he had that card. Destroy Ooh. target creature or enchantment and opponent controls. I lose life equal to the permanence converted mana cost. Let's destroy that that celestial convergence. No, no, not the soul snare. I like the <laughs> I like the thoughtfulness there. You lose five life? Uh, I lose, what's the casting cost on that? Two. Four. Four? Play a dangerous game, prof. I am, I am, I am. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap the royal assassin to destroy the demon. Demon dead. I'm going to bring Umazawa into play. Three, and then two more. Uh, I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So much gas. For a sphincter primordial. Uh, uh, I'll take that demon. Back. There's the demon. Thank you. There be demons. Move to declare attackers. I'm going to attack you with uh, Karvek, the dual caster mage, and the dire fleet daredevil for a total of nine damage. I'll pay one to exile the Karavek. Oh, but did it, does it come back into play? Mm -mm. No? Oh, I should have read that. All right. I will allow it. But you know what? I'm not going to do a take back -see. Oh. I should have known that. I won't do a take back see on that. I saw him read the card. I didn't read the card. It didn't. I didn't explain the card. So you take four damage. One, two, three, four. You sound. I can't tell if you sound confident or defeated. But past the day, I've been trying to figure that yeah. out for like three turns. Is he now. confident or defeated? Eyes. I know the answer, but I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna let you untap. all experience it. Right. I don't. I have no concept. Of keep, of. Uh, the only one I can choose is I lose. Get out of here. Come on. <laughs> you know me better than that. I win. I'm going to play Stunning Revi Reversal. The next time you will lose the game this turn, instead of draw seven cards and your life total becomes one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's really impressive. You could say it was stunning. That's really, really, really impressive. This happened and you let it happen. I right, pass priority back to you. Cool. I'm going to tap a uh, black and a red from my Ornithopter of Paradise, and I'll play a Rakdos Charm uh, so that each creature you control deals you one damage. <laughs> response, response, response. I'm waiting for the tears response. response. He has a counter spell. <laughs> baby, 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 <laughs> baby. Listen, listen, baby, let me explain. Let me explain, baby. How many creatures do you have? How, does a that, lot. how was that a relevant One, question? two, three, four. So you just say some dumb five, stuff. Five, six, to seven. Buy, like, to buy time. I have seven. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best excuse <laughs> if possible. You ra if you Rakdos charm me in response, I die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a second. Wait. Wait. 
Just Just calm down. Can this where you say, baby, I was wrong, admit, and you die? (laughs) That's kind of the. (laughs) You gotta admit to fear. Hey, I'm just playing. Sometimes you gotta put on a show. Yeah. Uh, One. Uh Two. Sorry, I tapped that wrong. But I'm gonna tap that blue. I am gonna tap that. And I am going to tap that. Are you kidding me? Just so I can play, because it is my turn. Which means that that, oh, it's four less. What in the world are you, what are you doing? Discontinue me. I'm just gonna end my turn. Nice, sure. Weird, <laughs> but okay. No, he ends his turn. Yeah. Great, I, uh, un- I then I untap. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, this is the part where Ken thinks he won the argument, and then he turns around, all his clothes are being thrown out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's just on fire out the window. I right want now. to live on the street anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I. F- I don't think I have enough. Full blocker. swing. No, I don't think, especially because I got some flyers. No, that just. Why doesn't the demon fly? <laughs> lame demon you have. Uh, I attack you with with every with everything. Go on the blockers, I block the biggest thing, and then the second biggest thing, and then I'm just gonna say, just kidding. I'm gonna tap four. No, no. You gotta be kidding me. Pause for reflection. What is that? Fog you. <laughs> what does that do? Fog. It's a fog. It's a fog. <laughs> <laughs> With convoke. Yo, I feel bad for right. whoever's Ken's All right, about all right, <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Come on, professor. You can do it. Spend a blue. Uh, once that resol- it resolves, second main, spend a blue, serum visions. Okay. <laughs> you gotta dig deep for this one. Draw a card. <laughs> Scry two. <laughs> Put those both on the bottom of my library. Okay, all right. Hey, you attacked out, didn't you? <laughs> I was gonna say, no, don't do it. All right, all right, don't all right, all right, do all right. It. One, all right. <laughs> He's got an ornithopter. One, two, blockers. three, four, five. For the eye of the beholder thing, whatever the hell it's called, I'm not going to dignify it by learning its name. One, two, three, and uh, three, four. For the vengeful ancestor. Okay, I remember, uh, I remember that one. Vengeful ancestor, when enters the battlefield, goad target creature. I'm going to goad your four, four, meaning it can't attack me next turn. Okay. Spend two on a is it signet. That's true, yeah, so Pass. he can't attack. Before my combat phase? Well, because it doesn't have to attack now. Or, well, you know, he has to Whenever attack. it right, is yeah. goaded, but it it does, it has, it doesn't, it attacks if able, and it attacks an opponent other than me if able, but it's not able to attack the opponent, but is it able to attack? Mm-hmm. So it has to attack, it's goaded. And when it attacks, And when it a goaded creature attacks, it deals one damage to its controller. Okay. Well, first I'm going to draw, a top draw. I'm gonna play a uh, land for turn, gain a life. Funny how the two people who say their deck shouldn't win are going head to head right now. I'm gonna go to, if I go to combat, it deals, my creature does one damage? Yes. I'll do that. Okay. I see, yeah, Ken's wife, Ken's future wife, <laughs> if you're watching this, bless you. Before I go to combat. Yes. One, two, no. I'm just gonna go ahead and sw- swing one. Okay. Four, four. four. Okay, it does one damage to you. Okay. It's a four, four. I block it with my five, five. Okay. That dies. I think you might kill me. Maybe. One, two, three. I like giving hope. Four, <laughs> five, <laughs> six. Sorry. That's okay. I'm gonna tap, play Lich's Mastery. You can't lose cards. the game. <laughs> Whenever you gain life, you draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lose, you exile permanent. You... <sighs> Damn it, you've got to be Them dual. kidding me here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to play four. Play Mina. Uh huh. I'm going to play another. Enters tapped. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to play my next land for turn. Mm-hmm. Gain one life, draw a card. Where's the draw a card part? Oh, oh gain a life. <laughs> and this is only on level one. So let me take you to level two. Now I can play an extra land. Carl's Bastion. Carl's Bastion. <laughs> Carl. 
<laughs> is, that, is that his real name? That's his government? It's Carl. Oh, Carl. <laughs> Carl just sounds Damn, cooler. Carl, welcome to my bastion. I'm gonna pay... I will never be able to not hear Karn speaking in that voice. Yeah. No, that's just... <laughs> I'll unfortunately have to pass there. Oh. oh, will you? you? Try it. Untap. You pretty much have to throw the kitchen sink at him. And the bathroom uh, sink. Draw, I guess so. Play a Temple of Epiphany. Scry one. Do not need that. All right, let's see. What are we doing here? I'm going to just uh, tap and kill that. Okay. Now I'm going to move to declare attackers. Do what you need to do. I do what I need to do. Uh, I'm going to attackers you with my sphincter primordial. Mm -hmm. The blood primordial. The uh, dire fleet daredevil. Mm -hmm. The eye tyrant. Uh huh. The ravenous demon. Mm -hmm. uh, the dual caster mage. Mm -hmm. The vengeful ancestor. Mm -hmm. And Tetsuo. That's a lot. That is a lot. So I'm going to block your biggest creature with Sol. Okay. After blockers are declared, but before damage, mm. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice my Dire Fleet Daredevil to Ravenous Demon. Mm -hmm. uh, that will transform it into a 9 9 Flying Trample. Okay. He dies. I'll draw a card. So you take 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 21, 22 damage. Yeah. 22? 22. 22 damage. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. How does Lich's mastery read? Sorry. Everything exiles till he's gone, so he has to exile uh, uh, things. Oh, okay, okay. Nine. Uh-huh. Ten. Uh-huh. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Get rid of that. <laughs> One. Fourteen. Fifteen. I need to make sure I have Run out of options. Seven here. more. Sixteen. Five more. Four more. Three. Back at five. Back at four. Three. Two. All right. Uh, I passed the turn. I'm gonna draw. I feel like there, he has something very specific in hand because I saw him watching the mana that went away I just don't, I don't like this. For Insurrection. <laughs> Spirit Mirror. What is this? You Turn your, you have enough. To a natural selection. <laughs> I remember this combo. You've got to be Yagmoth. kidding me. Explain the sequence. <laughs> I turn, a choose a creature other than a wall. Target creature type becomes the type. And then it says this, uh, this uh, destroy, I can pay zero, destroy target reflection. I'm just gonna turn your creatures into reflections and kill them. But you can only pay as much as I know. Can. That's why I had to cut it real close. So I had to get rid of his biggest creatures. Okay. So the demon dies. All right, that goes to your graveyard. Okay. Well, in case he has any responses. Um, I have no responses. The primordial dies. All right. The f what else, what else is your biggest creatures? Uh, the f the eye tyrant dies. Okay. What else? Three, the four, uh, three. ancestor. Oh right, I've got a three three and a three four. I'll take the three four. All right. Pass turn. Oh my gosh. My God. <laughs> Probably you're running lightning bolt because uh, this would I, be a that good, would be really nice. <laughs> I, I actually think I am running lightning bolt, so it'd be hilarious if that's what I draw. Unfortunately, I drew a command tower which does not do what I want it to do. So I'm going to, I guess, move to declare attackers, and I guess I'm just going to attackers you with Tetsuo, Royal Assassin, and Dualcaster Mage for five, six damage. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is why we kill Ken. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I just need to keep my sure I can do But, I, but I am saying you should have killed Ken. <laughs> what, is, what is this this mess? 
Our poor editors just give up at this point. <laughs> just give up. We get the idea of what he's doing. We're gonna use he doesn't a even have his lands right side up. Just show it. Just show it in its untamed glory. I, I exile six uh, lands. Whoopee. <laughs> okay, my turn. Four of them are tapped. Oh yeah, all these are tapped. Yeah, it's your turn. Untap. Triggers yeah. on your upkeep. You get a reflection token. I get a two-two reflection token. Yee, whoopee. Anybody have it? That's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on my turn, I'm gonna pay one, destroy your uh, three three. Uh huh. What else you got? I got an ornithopter and a royal assassin and a dual caster mage. Royal assassin. Okay. Dual caster mage. Okay. Past turn. How are you gonna win? I'm just gonna beat you to death <laughs> with a two two. Cool. Just tap I play life. a swamp. Two for a Mind Stone. Uh, I'm gonna spend one to sacrifice the Mind Stone to draw a card. Uh, if I just, if I bring Tetsuo in. He's gonna die. Yeah. I'm gonna murder him. <laughs> Pass turn. Okay, I'm going to untap. Okay. I'm gonna draw. <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm gonna go to combat. Yeah. Swing a two-two. Terminate it. Oh. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna pay two. Well, Crook of Condemnation. Then I'll pass turn. What is that? I can exile your graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, two. Hard cast a Mold Drifter. Ooh. Hey. Draw two cards. One, two, three. Burnished Heart. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven to bring Tetsuo back in. Pass the turn. I'm gonna kill Tetsuo. I'm gonna kill Burnished Heart. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice Burnished Heart to search my library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle my library. That's perfectly fine. Yes. Pass the turn. All right, I get a reflection on my upkeep. This is excruciating. This is ridiculous. I, this gave, is what... I, I gave you the blueprints. This is a great metaphor for, for Ken. <laughs> <laughs> can't really put it into words. It's you just, can't. This is just... It's just it. We'll just play this. Yeah. I'm going to pay two to play Triska Decophobia. <laughs> Triska Decophile. First, I have no maximum hand size. And uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, if I have exactly 13 cards, I win. I pass. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> How many cards do you have in your hand? I have two. Draw. I think this qualifies as a form of torture. <laughs> Move to declare attack or say attack you with my, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to destroy your reflection. <laughs> I'm done, I, I passed the turn. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy your ornithopter while we're at it. <laughs> just, just in cool. case. <laughs> I'm going to untap, Yeah. draw. I don't have 13 cards. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go swing for three. For three? Sorry, yeah, three total. A one, one, and a two, two. I take three, go to three. You're not past turn. I'll just end it. Okay, this card here is a lightning bolt. No, it's, what is this? That's a good card. Uh, right. When it enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. When an opponent attacks you while I'm the monarch, it deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in their hand. Cool, I'll cast that. One, two, three, that's the red, and four. And I cast my Amber Wild Captain. And you are the Monarch, sir. Yeah, I'm now the, it's fine. I'm the Monarch. <laughs> so I draw a card during my end step. Okay. Uh, if you attack him, you lose life. Wow, he's the Monarch. Yeah, but it's a creature. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow it out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, just just finish me. Attack for three. Finish me. Finish This Jankov has to end. You have to finish him off. <laughs> you. <laughs> Ken, you successfully janked me off. <laughs> Do you feel good about yourself? I feel great. I feel great. I feel terrible. After I, feel, being... I feel right about that. <laughs> You're the master jake off. <sighs> good game. I like to thank all those times in college, you know, studying to be the master of jank. I like the stake of my jank so much that it chokes, you know, uh, skunks and squirrels of all types. <laughs> <laughs>
<sighs> Kill Canfer. Go subscribe to One More Man on their YouTube channel so that I never feel obligated to bring them out again. <laughs> Seriously, awesome YouTube channel. Links in the description. Thank you all for coming out. Are we going to let the audience decide who they feel was the jankiest? Was Whose the jank deck was the jankiest? Let us know in the comments below. We'll be posting deck lists to all four decks. I think I know the answer, but... Uh... <laughs> you guys want to go get dinner and play another game? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I should have won that. I should have won that, and it's ridiculous that I didn't. Do I feel good about what I did? Absolutely not. I'm gonna go take a, two showers and a bath after this. As a matter of fact, as I played these cards, I felt actively gross. But you know what helped me through it? My determination, my will, my pettiness, and the depends I wear. Because if you're gonna do some crap like that, you're gonna have to sit in it. Y'all heard me. I tried to tell him. Nope, kill set. You brought this on yourself, Brian. I actually felt guilty early in the game, ganging up on my three guests with my $50 jank deck, but then I realized I finally did it. The very first time that I'm recording Commander gameplay footage, I am showing what a real Commander game is. And you know what? I'd like to thank all the previous petty people before me. I'd like to thank Sam for being a loser, because that's what he does, and Derek for watching him lose. So I do have to say, this is the first jank off I've ever been a part of where I didn't finish first, so there's that. Professor, you did your best, but it wasn't good enough. <laughs> and then Ken came along and did just disgusting moves that should not be allowed in Commander. Do not play those cards. I, I, I'm not even, I'm, I'm, no. This is, I'm done. I'm, ridiculous. Next time on Shuffle Up and Play. Ristic Studies. Spice 8 Rack. I have brought Hopper decks. I will have you know that Spice 8 Rack is my favorite Magic the Gathering bread tuber. Because <laughs> I be making that bread. Oh, yeah. Me, me, me. What are your fairies? Yeah, 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 yeah. We know all about it. Mm, what am I going to do? You need land or something? I really need land. Super far behind here in this game, and I drew one of my best outs. Oh, one of my best outs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hear that? That's the sound of the proletariat rising, Let's baby. Go, baby. That's the we sound. The the union. You got nothing to lose but your chains, baby, and I just melted them with a fiery goblin.